I know what you've all been thinking. Coach PJ, we've seen enough of these breathing videos and these shirtless kawaii pictures. When are you going to give me something that's actually useful that'll change my life? So I decided to put this video together for you guys with probably some of the most important information and one of the areas that I believe I have the most expertise in so that this can help shape and influence the way that you live your lives every single day. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep dive into the chocolate to peanut butter ratios in some of the best Reese's products that are out on the market today. You've probably seen me discuss some of this in my videos recently and uh, what you'll see online is if you search for this, there's some people have gone out and they've actually taken a scalpel and they've taken the peanut butter and the chocolate out and they've measured it and they've used a bunch of, uh, uh, they use scales and they've all kinds of stuff and really done it scientific, um, but ain't nobody got time for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my own personal bias to guide your decision making and to guide this entire uh, presentation. So what I've done here, we've got a few different products. We've got our Reese's Pieces Big Cup, okay, excellent product, and it's got the pieces in there, which we'll see in a minute, which an excellent addition. Reese's is always stepping their game up. One of my personal favorites, the Reese's Heart, which we'll break down in a little bit, seasonal only, obviously. And then another one, seasonal right now, is our Reese's Peanut Butter Milk Chocolate Easter Bunny. So this is going on right now for Easter. Now, I didn't even waste my time with some of the other stuff out there because, again, you know, I like, I'm, I'm a little bit of an expert in this realm, so I only go with the high quality stuff. So what we'll do, let's take a quick look first at some of these are three of probably the best ones out there. So we'll take a look at the Reese's Big Cup because this is an excellent one. Now, what you'll see here, I've, I've bisected the Reese's Big Cup, is a lot of peanut butter, right? Huge amount of peanut butter in the center there. Minimal chocolate on the outsides. Now, what they've done here to help balance that out is they've loaded in, if you can see all those little Reese's pieces in there. Now, that's significantly stepped up their game here because you've got little bits of chocolate in the middle there. But overall, way more, uh, way more peanut butter in the Reese's Big Cup. Still a phenomenal product, and I highly recommend uh, you pick these up. I'm gonna try it out. It's still really good. Um, it's phenomenal, actually. But, if you're looking for the best, we gotta go to the seasonal products. And now, this one's actually newer. And I just bisected this, and I realized this is the Easter Bunny. Look at what they did here. Excellent work. Instead of just loading the peanut butter through the middle, they've actually interspersed it with different bits of chocolate. So there's little chunks of peanut butter and chunks of chocolate. Now that's excellent, because what you're gonna get with that is you're gonna to start to get a lot more chocolate per bite. And one of the problems with some of the seasonal products and the bigger products is the ends are really good. They get a big chunk of chocolate with the peanut butter there at the end. And then you get into the middle and it becomes this big wad of peanut butter. So like the peanut butter egg, which I was gonna review on here too, um, but I already ate it. So <clears throat> the peanut butter egg is not so good because it's just a big chunk of peanut butter. And I know you're probably thinking right now, some of you out there are thinking, well, wait a minute, I actually like more peanut butter. And when it's lots of peanut butter, just a little bit of chocolate, I actually prefer that. So what about that? And uh, my answer is, look, nobody's perfect. And I'm sure you're probably good at something else, but you're wrong about this because you don't want all peanut butter because Peanut butter is phenomenal, but peanut butter is a little bit dry. So the chocolate and the sweetness helps balance it back out. It's the difference between eating like a little bit of an apple dipped in peanut butter, a little bit of juiciness that helps you to keep eating more. Whereas if you just eat peanut butter, you're like, oh, it's stuck in your mouth. You know, it's just like, <clears throat> you gotta really think this through. So listen to an expert and just change your opinion. So, Really, really good here. I like how they interspersed the chocolate and the peanut butter together. Excellent work. And then the last one we'll look at, one of my personal favorites, is the, the hearts, the chocolate hearts. Because what you'll see, if we look up close, look at the thickness of chocolate along the base here, the thickness of chocolate along the end. Still a lot of peanut butter, so a good amount of peanut butter, but they've thickened out the chocolate. So most of your bites outside of that middle bite are gonna have a really good chocolate to peanut butter ratio. And your ideal bite is gonna be this one right in here. Cause look at the thickness. You're gonna get some thick chocolate, peanut butter flavor. Oh, it's gonna be the best bite of your life. So now what I think they could do even better 
now that I've looked at the intersection of these, is combine those two together, start interspersing a little more chocolate um, into that peanut butter. But that's the uh, that's how you get the ideal ratio because you really want that thick chocolate paired with the peanut butter. And what you'll notice they did really well here is every single chocolate product here is all milk chocolate based. There's no dark chocolate in it because that's crap and we don't want it. It's all milk chocolate based and they probably make dark chocolate stuff, but I don't buy it. Um, and then for comparison here, I've also bisected this kiwi. And what you'll notice with the kiwi, if you look around the outside, minimal to no chocolate whatsoever. And then inside, no traces of peanut butter anywhere in there. So obviously no nutritional value in this whatsoever. And I don't even know why you would want to eat that. Uh, so really what we have is just a comparison of phenomenal products. It will depend a little bit on personal preference. The nice part about these larger products is that they're significantly larger, but it's still only one heart. So if I buy the Reese's big cups and I eat 15 of them in a normal sitting, then I feel a little bit bad about myself. But when I buy one Reese's heart, it's like, oh, I'm just having one serving, which is actually five servings and upwards of 700 something calories, but that's irrelevant here. So that's the nice part about these seasonal products is you can buy a whole bunch of them and then they're really just one serving. So you can eat the whole thing as one. And then at the end, uh, one of the other key tips here, and this is a pro tip, if you prefer the seasonal products, you gotta wait till right afterwards. So you're gonna go to the back of the grocery store where uh, on February 15th, after Valentine's Day is over, you go to the back of the grocery store in that discount rack where they have all the old bread and weird stuff. And you're gonna go back there, you find these babies. They were $8 a piece a week or two before Valentine's Day, down to $4 a piece the day before Valentine's Day, down to $1.50 a piece after Valentine's Day, the day after, okay? But they, you lose them quickly, so you gotta go stock up. Um, these babies, I don't know how much these are, but they're probably a couple bucks. Wait till after Easter, go in there, stock yourselves up on these. So, and then these you can get year round, and that's one of the other great parts about it, is they're not seasonal. So, if you really, really just gotta stock up, you go with something here, Anytime you got the Reese's Pieces on the inside, that's just heaven in your mouth and you're gonna love it, okay? And then these, you can also get most of the time, but again, I don't know why you're gonna buy that. No chocolate, no peanut butter, um, pretty much just a worthless food. So that's just a breakdown of some of the best Reese's products, those chocolate to peanut butter ratios so that you can help make better decisions to continue to optimize your life and your choices the next time you hit the grocery store.